What's up? What's up, man? We back. Sorry hey, for the dude. wait. You dig? You dig smoking sports, man. You already know how we coming, man. Let D back with the noodles, back with the foolishness. Back with the foolishness. I'm back just cooling out, you hear me? Yeah, man. You dig? We gonna, gonna start off with the, what you talking about, D? You talking about, yeah, yeah. You talking about you gotta talk to Carl, huh? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Carl, Carl fans, uh... I don't want to say I apologize, but uh, <laughs> fuck. My, my 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 bad. Y'all doing y'all thing up there. Y'all doing y'all thing now. That playoff ain't come yet, but shit, y'all 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 showing me y'all ready for that level. You feel me? Y'all ready? Y'all y'all ready for that level, bro? Y'all ready for that level? But you know. I wasn't really saying that y'all wasn't ready for that level. I just was mad that y'all made the, the, the move late. I felt like this move was supposed to be made five, several years ago. When all them teams was coming back to back and y'all was going to the dome all them years in a row, I just felt like, man, y'all really probably could have been doing that on 5 e you know what I'm saying? But man, shout out to Cuff. Y'all, y'all surprised me this year, bro, with just how how they whipping people, bro. They, they ain't playing, bro. Like, you know, they averaging 40 at the half. No. Yeah, bro. No, you know, no, for I real, mean, bro. Yeah. They first four games, they had 40 at yeah. the half. Yeah, bro. This ain't no, yeah. Bro, they played three games, huh? They played four. They they forfeited the first three. Then they come back sad, then B say no. So now no, they, they yeah. one and three. But they really four and no on the field. That's right. That's my but second technically, game I've been to a cup. Technically, they one and three. You went to Eastern game, right? Went to the Eastern game, but before that, I felt like I went to the game. Oh, that was the the jam must be the jam when they when they lost to uh, that's who they lost Saint Aug already, right? In the jamboree, that's who they played. Or oh, that was Eastern? No, that was Eastern lost to. Yeah, yeah. The dude got hurt on the last play. Uh, the cornerback, Wireless. Wireless, yeah, bro. That's, I'm and they put him on offense. Eastern. They heard him on. That's How cool. you put this man? Yeah, good thing. See, that slipped my mind. I wasn't going to bring that up. Come on, Phillips. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. And if you don't know who Jerry is, that's the head coach for Eastern. Come on now. You got the number one DB in the state. What is he doing on offense in the Jamboree? And you lost him for the season. On offense in a meaningless game. Ain't no excuse for that. You got the top defensive back in Louisiana. You putting him on offense in the jamboree. <laughs> and lost him for the season, bro. Yeah. Come on, Jerry. Yeah, you got to think, right. Jerry. Come on, Jerry. That's bad. That's, that's bad. bad. And that people be way better. Yeah, if, if, if that's my son, me and Jerry, we'd have had a few words. We'd have had some words. I'd have had to talk to Jerry for real. Because ain't no way that ball was supposed to be in no game. I don't know, you know, like me, I ain't putting them on offense, period, like to the game's matter. I'm not putting nobody like that on offense to the game matter, though. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, you want to put them in the, in the car game because, you know, that got something to do with your power ranking. You want to put them on offense when y'all play Catholic or Baton Rouge. That's going to help you out in the power rankings. You beat a 5A school, that, all that's going to help you with the rankings. But not no Jan Marie, brother. Damn. No, indeed, brother. So the car going to win it all? I can't stamp that yet. That, 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 they that. Exactly they still really got to show me that they can throw their way to the championship on 5A. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen the team since. Well, we seen it, but it's it's been since them booted boys. That's the only team that I seen predominantly throw the ball and won it up there. In five e. In five e. Evangel. That's it. You know, now caught throw the ball every play. You know, they run out the spread. You know. I just got to see it when they get in the thick of things, when Acadiana, Destrahan, Zachary, you know, Catholic or Baton Rouge, you know what I'm saying? St. Thomas Moe, when them teams where you're going to have to run the ball up there. 
You know what I'm saying? And car don't run nothing, nothing underneath the center. Car don't they do straight run pads. Yeah, huh? straight read pads. Option then. I haven't seen too many teams be successful on that level with that. Right. I th- talk about how you are to select. They throwing uh, Easton and, and all them in, uh, well, not all them, Easton, Neville. So they switched it now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's The crazy. select, everybody is select now. And the nine select is the one that's not it. So then they switched it around. Now you got lower classes have to play up when the playoffs come. Like you said, Eastern playing they district, right? Right. So when the playoffs come, they move them to 5A, right? Is that, I'm them and right? Neville. You saying it them right? And, them and Neville. Eastern, Eastern and Carver is in the same district. Carver, right. But when the playoffs come, no matter of fact, Eastern, Carver, McDonald 35, you know, uh, Abe, all of them in the same district, right? But when the playoffs come, 35, like, in Eastern, got to play in the 5A select. And Carver plays in the 4A 9 select. Carver play in the regular um, public school bracket. They don't fall some type of way. Carver didn't fall under select. So Carver not select. I don't know how that right. went. I thought it was like all all these parish schools or whatever is select or something. Except for Carver. Yeah, I'm, I'm still confused. I'm still bit saying, bro, it you know. still fucked me up. Carver don't go in the playoffs with Warren Easton and they're in the same district. Because Warren Easton falls under that one app shit. That's what make them select. You see what I'm saying? Carver under some other shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't even break you. Matter of fact, here. Carver, Booker T, all them people that's under Kip, they not select. So Carver and Kip school too? I think so. I'm not, I may right. be wrong. Right. But I know Booker T not in there neither. Booker T not in there right. with. Right. Booker T going the 4 8 thing. See, it's so crazy because it's not, I don't even think it's the same for girls' basketball. Like, it's not like. Everybody got the same yeah, shit. No, it's fucking right. Eastern and Neville Child for the playoffs now. They are. <laughs> they are. Yeah, same thing with their right. football team. They right, end up with Curtis right, them for the right. playoffs. Yeah. They, yeah, they end up with Curtis, bro. Now, it's better because we at Curtis and Fuck. we just didn't want that select dumbass shit. shit. Listen, brother. Went two games to it get to the It is good. It's, it, it, it's fucked up. It's but just it's, different, it's but better it's good, than what though. it was. Period. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's better. Than it's what it better was. than what it was. What it was yeah, take was the pros and the cons. Yeah. You probably want this than yeah. That if water if I had shit. to pick between this and what's been going on, I got to go with so this. So tell one. me this: How many championships is it now? Because it was. T- hey, what you want? That's really what we want. You it's just the fucked up part about it is. Like I said, you got Warren Easton, you know, a 4A school, right? Never tested the waters at the top level. So you mean to tell me when the playoffs start, right? I done played my whole district. Everson, Carver, you know, uh, Reed, whatever. Whoever in my district, long story short, I done played a 4A district. Then when I get in the playoffs, I got to get in here with the cream of the crop. And then that should be hard on power rankings. How Easton going to get a, a good ranking when you playing 4A team, <laughs> then going to a 5A, 5A playoff? Player, exactly. Why they going to respect you and rank ranking. you high? Right. Even if you 11 and 0. Right. You're going to be 10. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> now, I got to explain. That's how the, 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 the discrepancies come at with the rankings. Right. Because who I'm playing and you playing is so far off. Good thing Easton schedules this. Top of the line, nine nah, district that's schedule. That's what you got. Everybody has to schedule a hard nine district, district schedule now. Yeah. Especially for football. Basketball. But not if you ain't in, if you're in the category, you don't. They Cattle respect your the, district. Yeah, yeah. Cattle they don't league. respect your district. Uh, like it's more so for basketball. Zachary and them, Scotlandville and them district, they're going to respect that district. Because you got Catholic of Bad Roy, Dutch Town, Zachary, East Ascension, uh, 
You know, yeah, is that all them in the same that that back that BR or district? Yeah, see on the basketball side, well, for the girls, <clears throat> we only got four district games. So all oh, your games, you so you got a schedule. You got to schedule some shit because if you don't, you could you could go ahead and schedule, you know, Chappelle thirty times and be I'ma call it not. As long as both of them don't lose, now, nah. If both of them have like the same amount of losses, they gonna play games. I'm talking about Eastern girls and Curtis girls. They're going to try to put them on the same side. But my first instinct right now, we're going to have an Eastern Curtis championship. We're going to have an Eastern Curtis championship in the girls' basketball. We're going to have an Eastern Curtis championship. We're going to have that. I really believe that. I like that. That girl was young last year from Eastern. They well coached over there. Long as their records don't really conflict twice, though, they can make on the one number side. one and num- one number three, and then now you got them on the same side of one rank two and one rank five. You got them on the same no, side. That's a, that's a cool prediction, I mean, but because... I think they're going to be one and two, you ask that's me. That's very possible. I mean, if you look at it, you if you know about What's going the game, on? it's Easton, it's Curtis, it's Lafayette. There's maybe a few out, out there that, that I ain't uh, really sure of, but it's probably five, six teams who people going to say, all right, got a shot at Shout way. out to this one girl. I got to get her name. She come back, number five for Dominican. White girl, you know. Yeah, I forgot her name. Nice. Uh, nice. She can play. See, I like her. I, I think she'll I'll have her I'll have her name for y'all on the next show, but uh, number five for Dominican. St. Mary's Dominican. She nice. You know, she had a good game against Curtis you one time. Knew it was St. Mary's Dominican? Yeah. Like, you knew that? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. We just found that out, like, yeah, you no, know what I'm saying? No we think they're on nigga, the St. Mary's. We grew up around that. Yeah. I went to school across the street and shit. Right, you yo, know? you saw it more. We yeah. saw it. You damn, know? I just thought it was And Dominican. you ain't from around there, you don't know that. You just know Dominican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you just know Dominican. <laughs> you don't really know that, but <laughs> that's going to be a your girl. She, she good, bro. Number five, mm-hmm. she she nice for the minute. Be Curtis, you know, on the team, be Curtis in district last year. At, uh, at but Curtis. then y'all blow them out by 25 at Curtis. Yeah, they wasn't supposed to win, but they came to play and, and we didn't. You no, know I ain't saying? lying. I don't care how good you is. If you ain't make, if that bitch ain't going in, <laughs> yeah. y'all wasn't make. They wasn't making no shots that night. Yeah, like it's like yeah, nothing yeah. wasn't falling. And like it's like yeah, Shakai it had like day. eight points or something that night. Ten points, eight so points. Your girl filed out. The one that go to Shell met, she filed out that night. Terran. Terran filed out. Terran, yeah, we got we got a little different team, man. Our best player, Terran, went went to Shell met. Made she a, 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 a great a great player on the team with the went to, with the Shell met too. So they didn't up Shell met wave up. I, I wish him the best. You know they gonna be in a. They're not in our shell. Met. They're, They're in not in the select. Yeah. They're in the public. You know, so they got a shot. They don't buddy. fall as a they select. They got Parkway on that side. They school is for their ho- they, they whole town. Yeah, yeah. So they're not right. a select school. Right, right, right. So tell me them going to cut up at shell. Met, they going to yeah. do their thing. But, um, what's the best to tell me, man? Tell me night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell um, But, uh, so yeah, man. And we did some And got shit. a good game Friday. Uh, Carl and and B Martin. Martin huh? Yeah, Carl and brother Martin. You wanna go catch us some All good right, football go Friday ahead, because uh, like one of the times picking you and Riders, he picked brother Martin to win the district. But the other man who did the article, he picked Carl. Yeah. To win the I district. Might fuck with that. I'm gonna go to the LSU game. But shit, I know somebody else who followed this shit. My pops. He like from what he been seeing. He said Rummel his sleeper got the youngest team in the district, but. You're going to have to beat them. But I ain't see them yet. You know, but I know about the superstars off the park that then went there. Mm-hmm. LeGreg and all them. I know they got young talent, but I just feel like two more years. Rumble two more years. They ain't going to be able to beat Carl and, and Brother got, Martin. They too they young. They got G5 over there. Two more years. He will be toting that rock. That's that what, that what I'm saying. <laughs> Rumble that got the best young talent in the city, <laughs> meaning... From seventh hey, to seventh no, or ninth grade. Saint no, all got them youngsters, boy. That might not be true. Saint no, all might have the best young talent. Dude or whatever recruiting. 
Ryan, Le Ryan, them. Uh, mm -hmm. then I think LeChad gone. I think he went to BR, man. Chad Jones, son. I think he at Southern Lab now. Oh, yeah. But there's a few of them who real good. Man, all got some big youngsters, dog. All got a big front. All offensive line man, and defensive know, line is just as um, good as anybody in the state. I ain't no biggie play tight end, man. The, the, the play ball for the old, oh, the big, you know, the big youngster. Be shooting well, that thing. Right, right. He play tight end? <laughs> he play tight end, man. Somebody told me he got offers and everything. A tight end. Fuck, that nigga Hughes is a motherfucker. And he a perfect Jumping tight end out the gym, yeah. He about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. That's why I say they didn't say nothing about our uh, quarterback being out for the season. So See, when that quarterback pan, come bro. back, dude could run, throw. He got hurt in that game on TV. And the people ain't pull away <clears throat> till he went down. St. I was battling them people on that ESPN game, El Paso, Texas, whatever. St. I was battling them people. The quarterback been Oregon down. Yeah. was in Oregon at the Nike at thing. At the Nike thing. St. I was, listen, brother, it was tied score at halftime or something, even though they beat St. I by like 20-something. The quarterback went down. So when I get that quarterback back, that's going to be a different all, brother. Shit, chat, man. That's gonna be a different O. Right yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn, he hurt. The O? Yeah. yeah, dude, the freshman. They was talking good about him. They say he a freshman. He stepped up. He, he a been playing. Starting that quarterback in football. That's that's uh, that's crazy. You good? Right. Like Even if a nigga get hurt and you had to come in there, that's you good. You can play. That's saying, oh, you a freshman, man, like getting tipped. That's football. Man. That ain't basketball. That's football. Well, that's real. You got to be the real deal, boy. You don't want to see Hutton hand the ball off 50 times. No. Mm-mm. Not in football. <laughs> At quarterback in football, right. too. Right. You know, you could be a big old youngster could tote the rock, you know. Mm -hmm. But, nah, that's hard. But stand back there under composure. Yeah, throwing the ball and shit, a freshman, with all the, that speed is a big difference from. Like, ball. see, uh, <laughs> I was trying to see who called, but, um, um, for the playoffs with that basketball shit. Yeah, we got a six. I'm not sure if the boys' basketball came out yet. They got a little time. It probably did, though, because the girls' basketball came out. So the boys probably the came boy, out. I think the boys came out. I want to see. Come. It may be the same. It may be the same as the girls. Because the only thing different is 24 teams going now instead of 32. Did they, change, they had it at 28, then they changed it. It changed it like two, three times in the last month. Now it's 24 teams going in the playoffs. I want to say uh, Carver is going to be in the playoffs with. I think, well, I know, I think McMahon and our shit. Yeah, McMahon select. Yeah. McMahon going to be in there with the Oregon shit. So that's good for basketball. McMahon going to be in there with, like, you know, See what I'm saying? But I'm trying to see like what they're gonna do with Madison Prep. Like Madison Prep must gonna be in there with. I forgot. I know I saw Madison Prep, but I forgot what he is. That at. shit crazy, brother. Real tough. That's a change. You gotta get used to it. Man. It's better than what it's been. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it over take what it. it's been. The fan is gonna take it. You know, you know, they gonna be cool with it. And the people who was in the select last year cool with should it. be cool with it unless they... The people that's mad right now is the people that they saying, y'all not select, y'all regular. Like the Carvers and all that, they mad. Carver mad now. Carver can't go in the playoff with the, the real playoff because they don't fall under select. So Carver mad. Yeah, like Carver Athletics, they mad. They gonna have to get it as right as they could, bro. Cause that play yeah. a part in children going to these schools. Fucking right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't. That's crazy. Cause I don't know if these parents or 
uh, uh, LHSA, whatever that shit is, even think about that, like, children don't want our, pa- our parents of these athletic kids who go going to school, they, they be needing to know some information on shit right. to pick a school, man. It ain't just, oh, the school around the corner, we going, that shit over with, like, that's yeah. damn back in the G-ass shit. That's man, let that with. man know that he going to be playing against our lady of the, uh, our lady of the laws. And he gonna be playing against um, E. Coli Classic, and you know. Yeah, man, that's that's a that's a. Um, yeah, ain't nobody want to play against that no more. Tactic, man. We, oh, you want to go play in some good games, <laughs> some a big game? You want yeah. to be like, nobody. see, like now, Newman happy because now they got to go. They three A, but Newman got to play in the four A thing. They got to play in that shit with St. Thomas Moe, Terrell, and Catholic. You see what I'm saying? So now Newman going to be able to show on the stage now. Because everybody, the knack on Arch Manning, he ain't playing no fucking body. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you throwing that bitch all over the field. You playing E.D. White. You see what I'm saying? Let us see you throw this bitch all over the field against uh, Terrence Cadley, uh, St. Thomas Moe, uh, D. LaSalle. You know, so that's who they going in up with. So... I know just for this year on, I know Newman kind of happy now. Because they going in the the real deal thing now. Mm -hmm. They going up. That's why I see at at first I thought Newman and Carver was going to be able to meet for the playoffs. They were if they were the name Carver Select. Carver would be in there with Newman. Now they taking good basketball away from us. I thought Carver was going to be in there with Newman on the basketball. I would have loved to see that in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's wild. That's the wild. left in them. You know, they're going to schedule each other because Rand and your boy fuck with each other. So they're going to be playing each other every year, but it's going to be nine districts. I would have loved to see that in the playoffs, too. Shit, chat. With Calvin um, and Newman, man. Shit, chat, bro. So, yeah, bro. Fuck the Saints going to do, dog. Shit. <laughs> they gonna have to do, <laughs> but they gonna have to do. Uh, they gonna have to try and the dog, right? Yeah, right there. All right. They gonna have to try. They gonna have to try. And, they gonna have to try and the dog, bro. They gonna have to try him, bro. Nigga gotta remember, dog. Like I think for dog real. can come win games for sure. Listen, but I like Winston, bro. Just he ain't comfortable yet. The he man hurt. He got four broken bones in his back and shit. All right. You know. It ain't like we got Sean Payton, you know. I don't know how Dennis Allen coming or whoever the mm-hmm. offensive coordinator is doing anything, but I still got faith in Winston, bro. I got faith in Winston, dog, but I ain't going to lie, brother. That nigga been good his whole life, man. And the Dalton is a proven winner. See what you say about him? Go look at his jacket in, what, the four seasons yeah. he played in Cincinnati? He just couldn't win a playoff game. Ten and six. 11 and 5. That nigga missed 11 the playoffs and 5. Like 11 and 5. Or 10 and 6. Man, 11 and 5. Yeah. He's a walking 10 wins. He'll guarantee you 10 wins. You hear me? And see. Situation, dog. People forgetting how good the Bengals was. Like right when AJ was still in his prime, dog. Dude had A.J. Green was shining. Dude was on that bitch to A.J. Green, brother. Before A.J. Green got hurt, them dude was making the playoffs. He was the best receiver in the league, arguably. Yeah, sure. brother. And right. Andy Dalton was slinging that bitch to him. Like, I feel like we got a similar A.J. Green and Michael Thomas. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> we got a squad on yeah. offense. Ain't like, no way we shouldn't be offensively good. I feel, I feel like we got two of the best three possession receivers in the league. I call the best three possess the best two possession receivers in the league is Michael Thomas and Devontae. And I feel like Jarvis fall right there when he held. Nigga said Jarvis is top of the line when he held it, brother. You hear me? Jarvis uncheckable. Nigga can't check Jarvis. Jarvis like Lance Moe. He gonna get to the spot, hands for That's sure. More, Cause I would say Jarvis more of the slot. You know what I'm saying? He that he probably the best slot you gonna get. He ran the car. Yeah. Shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but even better, he got X and Y game. You ain't like you can't throw him on. You can put Jarvis anywhere. Yeah, you put him anywhere. 
But right now, I think he more planning inside. You know what I'm saying? Running across the middle and shit. Yeah, Joe was a dog, man. Joe was catching 100 balls every year. Right. Every year. He for sure hands. Yeah, for sure hands. Mm-hmm. His hands, A1. That's why I said we got two niggas that, two good route runners that move the chain. And we got deep threats. We got number 10, and we got Olave. You know what I'm saying? Our tight end, I feel like our problem right now is more of a rhythm thing than anything. The Saints' problem right now is just rhythm, just motherfuckers used to getting playing with each other. Man, I, was, I, ain't even see, I, I, I ain't even see the game this weekend, bro. Like, what the fuck was going on? How come Myra look, man? What the? I went to the Jets since the game, bro. It's like, bro, I can't really say, dog. We we were straight, which is like, people not giving Carolina enough credit. People just act like we were supposed to act. Listen, brother. I mean, Carolina. Man, we can't score, though. I'm just fuck who we playing. We ain't playing the best defense every week. Listen, huh? bro. Carolina got a Super Bowl team in place around Baker Mayfield. Carolina has Super Bowl talent. Offense? Not saying that they're. All over. Listen, brother. Nigga not talking about it. Get him a quarterback. I put this on everything I love. Get him a quarterback. We might be talking about they got the best wide receiver tandem in the league. Yeah. I, with you the heard, fast ball from the Jets? With fucking Robert Anderson and DJ Moe. Them niggas just as good as all them niggas in the league, dog. They in Carolina. Ask around. You, you know, you know, you know what that sound like. DJ Mo and Robbie Anderson. Cold, period. Them niggas cold. If you ain't got, if you ain't got Drew Brees on your team, that, that's what they saying. That's what, all them receivers can say that shit. Except no. DeAndre Hopkins, because he had a hundred quarterbacks. No, that, and he both was of these niggas made everybody. the Pro Bowl out of Carolina. Who? Robbie Anderson and DJ Mo. I don't know. I gotta check that. Check that. I think yeah. I don't know. I think DJ Mo made it for sure. Dog, them dudes top of the line. Right, like, just like, a, like DJ Mo, right, a lot of people feel threat. like he top 10 and just can't show it because he, he like D, 10, DJ he Mo cold. He ain't top 10. I, we don't know. I know. We don't know that. If because I don't give niggas. a fuck, man. It's, it's My about, eyes closed. It's 10 about better who than them. I don't even know who he is. Who, you crazy? I don't know, dog. And I got ESPN tatted on me. Googling him. DJ Mo. I know. I know he is. Like, the name. That nigga better than what the credits say, brother. I, this ain't what in that NFL, receive, I NFL, NFL nigga, nigga said like it. That, like, like I done heard old Ocho Cinco talk about DJ Moore. Like, you know, like give him a quarterback, he might would be top five. That's how niggas feel about dude. I can't put him top five because it you know, no. the numbers ain't yeah, there. Fuck you, gonna do? Yeah, you can't, can't put him top ten. You can't. I don't know about that. Top ten, you'd be surprised. He might be top ten, brother. We might got to go to not that nigga cold as a motherfucker. Number two, DJ Mo. That nigga cold, brother. Him and Robin Anderson. Them dudes cold. Robin brother. Anderson can never be under cold, bro. Right now. The nigga ain't did shit. Who going to do shit in Carolina? So how you cold? Because <laughs> they doing shit and it's with, the second these team. Poo, with these pool niggas. He There's a second team he left because he got the money. They paid him. They, tra- they traded that dude, man. He got paid the money. No, man. I don't think he got paid, though. It's just, uh uh-uh. No, man. I'm not sure. I think he got traded, bro. Right, but Anderson ain't do shit yet, man. But talk. And caught a few long touchdowns. I mean, not knocking. He just a long, he a deep threat. He ain't cold and all that. DJ Mo, first round, drafted in the first round, you know. 24 overall pick. When he got drafted? 18. He's a 24 overall pick. He ain't did shit since he been in the league. Who, DJ Moe? Yeah. Shit. Rookie year 788. Every year after that, 1175, 1193, 1157. But that's what nothing. Yeah. I mean, he did his thing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Dude, cold like a mother. Now, mind you, this switch. You, you, you get this, a thousand yards, but you can this play. This switching quarterbacks and shit. You can play, you get a thousand yards. You see what I'm saying? That. 
This this it's just quiet as a motherfucker come Carolina. You had a thought, no, nigga, you top. You ain't eleven hundred yards, you know. Fuck the highest right. yards was like fifteen hundred last year or something. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty good. We got that seat. They just paid him too. He got top ten money. Telling you the dude cold as a motherfucker, dog. Dude cold. Yeah, Robbie Anderson ain't ain't shit. No, Robbie Anderson, that nigga too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God. Yeah, but they paid this nigga, they paid him top ten money. He just got his money and everything. DJ Mo. I feel you though. I mean, but I was starting that off with the wide receivers could feel like that. Give me a quarterback and I ooh, ooh. Cause the wide receivers cold fuck. You know, they they the athletes on the field like that who really, you know, on some diva shit. Like, bitch, nigga can't check me. I don't give a fuck who you at. Now, Robbie Anderson, he came at 16. At 16? Mm-hmm. Damn, he been in the league a minute. He played for the Jets three years. Yeah, it felt like he just got to Carolina last year, huh? No, but that's why I fuck with Robbie Anderson. Undrafted. 4 3 in the 40. Signed a $1.3 million contract that included a signing bonus of $10,000 as an undrafted free agent. That's why I fuck with him, because he worked himself to the shit. There you go. He no, worked. I'm only comparing him to. Top tier shit. I ain't knocking the man, you know. That's what's up. But on some football shit, like, I ain't about to let you say he cold and all that, but you still got to do something. Like, not. Carolina signed him to a two year, $20 million contract with $12 million guaranteed with an $8 million signing bonus. Yeah, see, uh, he called for, but mind you, though, not. We at the Jets, see. We at the Jets, brother. 587, 941, 752, 779. All right. Got the Carolina with Sam Donald, 1096. Last year, 519. We know they played like four different quarterbacks last year. Yeah, I won't say he was hurt, I ain't sure. And right now he doing his thing. But their receiving core is top of the line. Yeah. Top of the line. They they could do whatever. Their receiving core, get him a quarterback, they could do whatever. Them bitch could do it. I don't believe it, but I feel you. I guarantee you, DJ Moore look just like Stephen Diggs if he played for Buffalo. Man, come on, man. Ain't no come on. I, I watch. I watch. I Diggs watch. was that was that nigga before that? No, man. Diggs wasn't that nigga till he till he got to the league. Diggs, Diggs had to prove himself, brother. Uh, Diggs yeah, was, yeah, before Diggs Buffalo, was a six, nigga, a he was that nigga. Round draft pick. He, he was, was that kick, nigga in was, Minnesota, man. He was man. a kick return nigga. No, Thielen was that nigga. That's why they ain't want to pay him, dog. They let him get the fuck. Yeah, brother. I'm he, not saying dude he was, was a six number round. one nigga I'm about saying the dealing was, He was that nigga, though. He was cold. He, he, be, was, he beat us in the playoff. He, been, he, he was, was cold, but he wasn't that nigga. He was, he was going, going off. off. He, he, he became that nigga when he got to Buffalo. He wasn't that nigga. That's why he left. Of course he was bigger in Buffalo. He was young in Minnesota, going off. He showed you he, he was that nigga. He came as a six round draft pick. But he was going off. Man. Go to show you what Minnesota thought about him. They ain't keep him. You see what I'm saying? We, we use a six-round nigga we drafted. You How know, you going to say we, that? We ain't think you was going to woo-woo-woo. You know why? They if probably, they thought they, he was they bad, the they would have paid him. No, they made the wrong decision. That's what they did. I How feel they made the wrong that? decision? Because they got, this nigga They got Thielen, then they got Jefferson. They ain't missing him. How? What you mean? You had to miss him when, when uh, like he Jefferson was Like, Jefferson had a better year than him last year. And the year before last, the year before last, Diggs was the number one receiver. The year before last. Last year he had the most catches all that, man. No, you not mean? the most. That was the year before last. No, last that wasn't, the, man. Yeah, that was, pull it up. That was the year before last when he went off, when he had that hell of a season. The man go off every year, yo. I ain't saying he ain't, I'm talking about when he led the league and shit. 
When he led the he league. He lead the league every year. That's what you don't know. And catches and shit. No. The last couple of years have been Stephon Diggs, though. No, that was the year before last. He ain't fall off. Yo, I never old. said he fell off. Yeah, you did. He just led the league. He was, the, he was a top catching nigga the last three, two, three years. I know he ain't have a better year than Jeff last year, than you Justin know? Jefferson. Uh, he just he was up there, yeah. All I can say is, he a nigga worked his way up. Like, the DJ Mo been it. Stephen Diggs, six-round draft pick, had to show everybody. DJ Mo was that nigga. Yeah. Coming out. First round, wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? First round. He about to get big. I mean, they just paid him top 10 money. You hear me? I'm just telling you, put him in Buffalo. He doing the same thing. Shit, no. Yeah. Yeah, crew, that. Believe that. Stephen did, yeah, yeah. Me, I yeah, think yeah, DJ Mo colder than the nigga. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't be looking at. I look at the individual himself. I think DJ Mo colder than that nigga. But you know, all that's opinionated, brother. Like when, 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 when two niggas Shit cold, chat. it's opinion. After that. When 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 both of the niggas cold, it's opinion. Cause I feel like get this nigga Allen. He doing that. Just my opinion, dog. Get that nigga Allen. Get DJ Moore Allen. <coughs> be like that. The receiver niggas be cold. Period. Niggas be cold. DJ Moore probably cold as a motherfucker. <coughs> <coughs> I just know Stephon Diggs and proof he cold as a motherfucker. Stephon and DJ Moore did too. With them numbers, he showed he cold. That's it. He just getting hit in fucking in Carolina, brother. Yeah, that's just. But Stephon Diggs, that nigga. Last year, 103 catches, 10 touchdowns, 1,200 yards. The year before that, 127 catches. That's when he had the most for sure. Somebody probably had more than 103 last year. 1,500 yards. The year before that. And I won't say he missed some games last year, too. Like. Just like. I, I'm gonna give y'all a prime example of yeah, what yards what better scheme years. what better scheme in in quarterback play can do for you, right? Play calling, woo, and quarterback play plays a factor to skill player success, brother. We didn't think, dude, don't get it twisted. Dude, Cole is a motherfucker coming out old Miss. Hey, man, Metcalf. We ain't think, Brown ain't get to show this shit in Tennessee. This shit he been doing these last three weeks, I ain't see it in Tennessee. I ain't see it. I ain't see it. Man, this nigga looking like, man, this nigga Brown, dog. This nigga. AJ Brown. Yeah. I mean, he did go off in Tennessee, though. He did all right. But now this shit he running now, with the way they using them now in Philly? Man. What he did yesterday, though. I ain't, you know, went off. I, I ain't really see too much about to see. Because I know <laughs> one game he went off. 200 yards receiver, something Ooh, like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm about to say, fuck, I ain't see much. You know what I'm saying? That nigga cold. He did score twice, I think, the first game. Fuck with AJ Brown, nigga, like, you know, he on some T.O. shit, like. Yeah. You know, he a big old. You know who this nigga look like to me? But he never played in the league. Remember when Maurice Claret and all them did that shit? Mike Williams from USC? That's who that nigga, that's what Mike Williams was going to be. But he fucked his whole life up trying to sit out and trying to. Try to challenge the coach. Dude wind up making the lead. Dude wind up missing two years first. Got drafted. Made the lead, but never panned out. He one of the best college wide <coughs> receivers I've Williams, ever seen, boy. boy. He wanted to maybe the best. Them niggas no. was cold. Get this shit twisted. The best college wide receiver I ever seen with Peter Warren. I'm standing on that. I, I ain't heard never, that before. Though. I ain't never seen the nigga have an impact, a wide receiver have an impact on college like Peter Warwick did. 
Every week, this nigga was a highlight reel, number nine for Florida State. And I'll never forget, in the Superdome, he beat Michael Vick for the championship, for the national championship. It was Lavernius Coles and 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 fucking um, Peter Warwick. So remember, a lot of people gonna feel like that, be like that Peter Warwick, cause he was cold. Lavernius Coles, remember, right after that game, the nigga was doing some shit in the mall. The nigga swiped or some shit. The niggas got in trouble. Lavernius Coles and them, you know, he was cold too. And I won't say no. Warwick Dunn wasn't on that team. Warwick Dunn played with Charlie Ward. Warwick Dunn wasn't on that team, but Peter Warwick though. I ain't lying, dog. Peter Warwick tore this bitch up, brother. <laughs> Peter Warwick tore this bitch up, bro. Yes, indeed. I, I went to thinking about receivers right quick. But Peter Warwick, he, he, he always was top of the, you know, you know what I'm saying? Who else? And hey, no, I ain't gonna like lie, that. though. I gotta go to. Santana Moss, Santana Moss. He went up. Out. I gotta go to this era. Two niggas, dog. Uh. Omari Cooper was one of the best college wide receivers ever. Omari Cooper, that boy, that boy in Philly right now who cut up and won the Heisman. Man, that seemed like that nigga had a uh, career game every game. <laughs> and it's like that's all Bama got, and nigga couldn't stop it. Like they went to the final four, this nigga got three touchdowns, two hundred or something yards. Championship game, this nigga beat them people by himself. Philly got something, boy. Boy, I yeah. saw his touchdown. I you saw, saw the catch before? Yeah, I saw the two uh, on ground and ground. I saw the card. Yeah, it looked like he caught it. Then two like plays he probably ran, going out the game. He, he fell so hard. He just cut and, his win. Yeah, you know, but still, he got back up and scored whatever. Two Ooh, plays he later, he fell hard again. I'm like, Lord. But Devontae, Devontae, little nigga who's going to be good. And Philly, like I told you, they got Philly so much Philly might win a Super Bowl, Listen, bro. brother, they got so much cold shit around them, but I'm still standing on it. i wait. Name me 10 backs in the league better than Miles Sanders. I've been on dude. He used to work out with Saquon Barkley. He was Saquon Barkley backup. He was getting touches when, when Saquon Barkley was there. Listen to what I'm telling you. Name 10 niggas right now better than Miles Sanders. Name them. He top 10. They got a top 10 running back. They got a top 10 tandem in the league right now. They now got see, everything they need. That, that's more like it. DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, I ain't standing on that. Uh -uh. But them two. <laughs> yeah. Boy, what? They're top. They're top. Ten. They're top 10. Duo. They're top 10 duo sure. in the league. And the way they look <laughs> in their top five look like. Because. Devontae, he can run the whole route tree, take the top off a of defense, speed, everything. Dude can run the route tree, take the top off a of defense and shit too. It's like, all right, so who you gonna double? You got a nigga over here with finesse who can't be covered. And then you got T.O. over here. You one on one him, he gonna catch this bitch, throw a nigga to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got muscle man over here with speed, dude. You know what I'm saying? He fast like T.O., though. Look, I ain't lie. We got some good football this shit, bro. Yeah, we, we said we that last year. We found out Buffalo is human. I they played a real that. good team and, and looked like they was going to win it. And, and, you know, good game, though. Miami showing it a I real I ain't get to call too. that on the air. But Seeker Vouch, I called that. Miami was going to beat him. I got Miami winning that division. I got Miami winning that division. Right. Man, look, that shit going to be hard, bro. It's just when he said that, I'm telling you like, D, you ain't like you the only one screaming at. The people got it on paper. They, they, they look good. But I still had Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, you know, they got Josh Allen. That's all. That's all I said. They, both, they got right. the crazy speed and all that shit with Miami and a real good D. I like at the end of the result, I like Josh Allen to come through. Cause it's still gonna come down to tour. And I fuck with tour. You just gotta prove it to me in the league. Like you gotta prove that shit before I start yang you. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh. Tour, but you gotta come do it. And I don't I went in the game in week three. Week two or something, you know what I'm saying? No, you really gonna show me when it's week fourteen. Because they're going to play again with them week 14 through 17. They're going to play again at the end. Now, y'all going to show me the real deal when, just say, 
you know, y'all 11 and 4, and Buffalo, you know, 11 and 4, and not this fucking game for the division. Yeah, yeah at yeah. the end. And you got to go yeah. in Buffalo and beat them to win the division. Now, that's going to show just, you. It's a body of work. That's all. Because you, I ain't saying you got to sit up here and we done won the Super Bowl year after year for me to be like, yeah, no. You got to show me you can do this shit day in and day out. You going to have some bad games, but you got to show me. Niggas be showing me in the league. I remember when Flacco did that to me. Right. Flacco made me say I'd never bet against him again. Like Right. But niggas going to be, oh, fuck Flacco. If I'm out, bet against him, and I bet you, I bet, I bet you, See how important that boy is every time you play him. Right. When your money on the line, he going to make every fucking good pass <laughs> in this fourth quarter and bust you up. He ain't had to throw for 300. You know why? They run the ball. They manage the ball. They play defense. Yep. When it's time to throw this bitch, and y'all know we throwing it too, he got a cannon, and he going to put this bitch on the dime. Say, no, I been in there. Everybody giving props to Say, this nigga supposed to be. Kill my name. Say, he's supposed to be. A genius, man. Miami coach, man. That dude twerking that offense, brother. He young. He like thirty five years old or something. Yeah, uh, on a McVay older. Than, I mean, younger than him or something. I'm yeah. Sorry. I haven't caught a Miami game yet. Like to See, really watch him. You know, he, it's early he, on. He running the right scheme. He protecting Tua. He putting Tua in the best positions. Like, like bitch. All you don't have to do is screw it up, man. Miami running. Streaks, quick slants, and running the ball, brother. Yeah, all day. Quick slants. Simple shit, hard to defend. Yeah. You know. Check downs, because these check downs could go for 60 yards. Anybody I check it down to, they run a 4-3 or better. You know what I mean? From Mostert to the nigga Edmonds from Arizona to whoever they get the ball to is 4-3 or better. So they do a lot of dunking. They're going to bring you up the feelings. And when you come down. I feel like that's how Joe Burrow them get down, too. Because he, he still ain't got no line, bro. It's no. like, so that's what he doing. Getting this bitch, whatever he could get somebody open. Or he, you know, he may force it to chase or something on, on something. But dinking that bitch down. But he got that crazy speed with fucking Waddle and Tyreek, you know. So yeah, that bro. can be a scheme in itself. Just fuck it, bitch, huh? You get the Listen, ball running. Brother. Tyreek Hill make you automatically have to play two safeties high. Now you got two Tyrese. You cannot play cover three against Miami, brother. You got Tyreek over here, Tyreek over here. All right, it's one safety high. Whichever side the safety play, the other nigga streak, touchdown, brother. So now we putting you in the defense. Automatically, we got the underneath. That's what motherfuckers got to give us. I feel you. They're going to be hard to beat. I feel like beat, some bro. people going to, you know, it's a scheme. It's oh, defense. no, some people going to say beat us, throw it. Yeah, some people going to say, yeah, show yeah, us that Jaylen, speed. You know, you got them, bitch, we ain't, you ain't got no help. Oh, no, they ain't saying that. It's going to be, it's not a, It's not the game plan. I'm saying plays, throwing that in there. Like, mm-hmm. this play... We ain't in that shit all day. We got two sages because he think you know, bitch. We going to scheme Last time Jalen learned this lesson, and Casey came down on Tyree. <laughs> Burn. Ten yards behind me. Boy, yeah. don't play. Come down and bump me. Boy, it's over. You can't. <laughs> ain't no come down and bump number 10 or number 17 is out the question. I don't care how good you are. Your defensive coordinator going to be telling you, don't fuck with that. Back off. Don't jam him, because you can't. Le Passer Tad, none of them niggas. Can't fuck with that. They ain't coming down. Come down on them. That's a no-go. You got the fastest two niggas in the league. These niggas run 26 per eight miles per hour. <laughs> but that's what they say. And the running back run 25 miles per hour. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, yes indeed, bro. <laughs> you got the cheetah and the lion. Fuck. Uh, you got the cheetah and the jaguar. Yeah. <laughs> you hear me? Wild or the jaguar. You hear me? Right there with him. 
And, and like, Waddle leading the team. Waddle been his number one target, you know, but. They've been getting the same amount of targets. Waddle, both of them. Waddle they, they got, got the yards. I know Waddle got, got the yards right now. Yeah, Waddle had like a 200 yard game when he had 160 or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They both going crazy. Man, bro. And, and, and see, that's what I'm talking about. That type of shit, brother. You don't want to see that in the playoffs, and this is nope. why. It could be going bad. Them people can score on any play. See what I'm saying? Any play could 80, 60, 70. Yeah, any, dog, any play can bust from them people, dog. Like, you know when it's hard to what I what I when I when I when I, when I realized too just early on, it's the fourth quarter. You know how to be like, all right, by the time the fourth quarter, Derrick Henry, man, niggas tired of hitting this boy, man. Nigga tired of running behind yeah. him. Nigga tired of running behind these niggas, man. These niggas still going fast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Boy, but think what? about it. They went off in Baltimore, scored 28 in the fourth quarter. I ain't see what happened um, this game because it seemed like that just was a good game. Buffalo, Miami, good, you know what I'm saying? Good, good game. <laughs> Defense was played. If yeah, on both sides. On both sides. They, 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 they did a good job. but And I think the first game they had to come back or something, you know, third, fourth quarter shit. Like, tired of these niggas with all Nigga, these no, crazy they, they routes. Not, they never out again. But what's scary about them? Them bitches got a Defense. So, boy, if they get up on you, might be in trouble. That's the thing. Now, they came back against Baltimore. It showed their potential and never out of game. They still got to prove with me, though. I, I feel like that with Pat Mahomes, Tyreek Gone. They got flaws, too. I feel like, but I think it's because of the quarterback. I'm going to Miami. Miami got flaws. Fuck it right. To me, it's the quarterback that make you feel like they ain't out of game. You know what I'm saying? It's the quarterback. I really receive in Co-Person, even though they both could be amazing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if Miami just said, oh, they, they never out of it. Tua got to prove that. You know what I'm saying? He got to prove, yeah, bitch, I'm like that. I'm about to step up. You know, I'm I'm usually throwing this bitch around. If y'all beating this, is because you got pressure. It's just other shit going on. And, like, you know what I'm saying? On some scoring on you like that. Like, time never out of game. Never. It don't matter who you got. You know, who you Justin got. Herber. Justin Herbert? Justin Herbert probably like that. He, he like I had that. Jacksonville. I bet with Jacksonville just Boy, because. I had Jacksonville every game this year. I took Jacksonville every game this year. Yeah, and they probably didn't they, cover but once. No, they, they covered all their games. They 3-0. They was the underdog every game. Oh, right. I thought they lost one. No, they 3-0. Shit, Chad. Oh, yeah. hold up. I might be wrong. I thought they lost the first one, maybe. Is Jacksonville three and zero? No, they two and one, but they went in the division. They number one in the division. The team that was picked last, they first. They first in the division, bro. Man, I, and all the while I pity because I knew Justin, Justin was hurt. That nigga broke ribs or something, and he's still by the plate. I'm like, yeah, he gonna be out there. If you saw him the last, I, saw, I watched that game because I forgot that was me a Monday night game or something. Man, that dude was out there like hurt. <laughs> like he, you could, t- he he ran the ball at the scramble one time, bro. He could have scored. He ran out of bounds. Like boy, I can't do this. Like no, indeed, no. Herbert. Herbert. He was hurt. Yeah, you know something was wrong. Yeah. But, and, but he, I think he broke his ribs or something. Broke he about to miss a he about to miss a couple games. He is. I think so. Cause when I I'm checking the phone, looking at it, and he the one was playing, Abel, Abel, I'm saying Abel, I said, damn. Cause nigga didn't think he was gonna play. You know what I'm saying? Cause right. the line was changing and shit like that. It was a possibility he wasn't about to play. But um. Yeah, he some boy. They clear pennant. The NCAA was trying to, um, they had hit Memphis with all the violations. Mm-hmm. And they, um, they came back, Penny beat it. 
Penny Hardaway did not violate NCAA rules and provide benefits to prospective student athletes. Damn, Sterling Shepard out for the season. For the Giants, towards ACL last night. Damn. Yeah, Jacksonville two and one. They covered they every game. The, they lead the division though. They covered every game though. Every game they covered. No. Yep, they did. I'm they trying got to a preseason you. game. Yeah. They should have because they lost by six to Washington. They probably was getting seven or something. Yeah. <clears throat> 22-28. They beat the Colts 24 nothing. They beat the Jag Chargers 38-10. Uh-oh. And look who they play next. Ooh. Philly. <laughs> That's really a good game, though, boy. But, you know. And, boy, Jacksonville got everything they need to beat Philly. Philly giving them six and a half at home. You got to eventually turn around and be good, brother. When every year you getting first round draft picks, you've been garbage the last fucking ten years. Yeah. You know I mean? They got a souped up roster. That's why nigga be like, "How Jacksonville? Yeah, nigga, think about it. <laughs> They've been getting all these cold ass niggas yeah. the last fucking six years. <laughs> Somebody got to be panning out doing all right, huh? Yeah, they not then no. What, what did it for them? They got Trevor Lawrence now. They go with all them fucking picks and shit they've been getting. Man, them people. I, I heard your boy Lewis Reddick talking about them people. Lewis Reddick, like, boy, nigga better not sleep on this team. It's all on Lawrence. They got everything. Them dudes say they got superstar defense. Yeah. This is what I heard from Lewis Reddick. You hear me? You know he behind the scenes. You know he personnel, GM, he, you know he been doing that shit. Lewis Reddick, like, man, them people. Black dude. Got, yeah, yeah, black dude, mm -hmm. Lewis Reddick. Dude, like, like man. GM and shit, all that. Yeah. yeah, dude, like, man, they got a superstar defense. Nigga, they've been getting top 10 picks the last 10 years. For real, since fucking uh, Fred Taylor and them, you know, left up out of here. You know, from Leonard to Trevor Lawrence, that was their biggest two in the last 10 years. You feel me? You saw that. It was good. Let it. They lost to the fucking Patriots right. in the playoffs. Now, so see, if they could have. With them similar players. No, listen. They win the Super Bowl if Trevor Lawrence is their quarterback. That fucking year that when they went to the AFC Championship, boy. When they had New England, boy. When they made that fucking call, they cheated, boy. Jacksonville would have been up by double digits on the people, dog, at halftime. The people defense was so good, Brady wouldn't have beat them. Remember? Leonard Rookie, yeah. When they went to the AFC yeah. Championship. Get him Trevor Lawrence that year. Who was their quarterback? Nick Bartles. 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 Damn. Nigga, nigga forgetting that just four years ago, them people was in the AFC championship game. They just started, they got rid of some good ass niggas, though. Jail no, and they, that racist shit happened. Some shit. Yeah. Then they had the clubhouse. Then the GM just started cutting all the cold, I mean, trading all the cold niggas like. We rebuilding. They started a whole rebuild. That you went to the AFC Championship and then immediately after started a rebuild. They probably yeah after that. They tried that next year. They, Fuck no. They just couldn't win like they wasn't winning like that. No nigga. Remember the next year they came back with Jerry? No. We thought they was gonna be good. And they ain't even just they stupid ass did what they did. After they won that fucking Super Bowl. They paid Blake Bottles. Remember that? It was a fucking uproar. All us was like, man, what the fuck? They paid this nigga. <laughs> remember? Yeah. I they, can't remember. <laughs> I can't they, remember. They went to the Super Bowl. Then they gave Blake Bottles the money. They come back the next year, and it was a disaster, brother. But they cheated Jacksonville that year in that AFC Championship game. I remember, I remember. cutting up that It was game. a fucking bad call that would have put... Jacksonville up by 16 or something at the half. 
Remember, they come out beating them and everything. Bread and them couldn't move the ball on the people, bro. Them people had it. They Thief. jumped out on. I think Linda had like an 80 yard touchdown or something that game. Yeah. Early on, pop that bitch. Or maybe it was, no, that, I don't think it was that 98 yard or something. I think that was in the regular season. But I think he broke a 70, 80 yard touchdown yeah, early he on broke in that game. the Patriots, yeah. Yeah. I just watched a uh, little, little uh, interview with, um, who was that? Was that Pivot? I am Ali. I don't think, I think he was all there yet. I think it was Pivot. You got to watch Mikey. I watched it. I watched it. I caught it. Got the Puma deal. Dude up like 10, 15 M's already, brother. Yeah, man. Dude say he won't be big enough by 25. He 18. Big it happen. Like with with this new man. money, shit, with this new money. Hey, fucking right. I know he could touch man. it. Man, yes, indeed, man. But, um. Like. Just the brand he is. Long as he stay healthy, he gonna be a top fifteen pick. Which his game match it, but everything that come with it, like they they might have a few niggas out there better than Mikey. I'm I'm pretty sure they do. It's y'all always niggas better than you. You hear me? But everything that come with Mikey gonna make him, you know, a lottery pick over you. If him and the nigga are washed. Who you think they gonna go with? They going with the brand. They going with who gonna put ass in the seats. Straight up. You hear me? That's why, you hear me? Real talk. I'm telling you what it came down to with Mickey Loomis. Now when it came down to Jai and Zion, it came down to man Zion, this nigga we never seen before. But this little nigga cool, we never seen him before. But who gonna put the asses in the seats? Zion. Immediately. Ain't no question. Yeah. yeah Jock would have still yeah. had to come show us some shit the first third of the games before he would have, then we'd have, yeah, fuck, we got Jock. You hear me? But out the gates, you know, you looking at who going to put the ass in the seats. I feel that, and I fuck with Jock here, yeah, generational player. Yeah. I still would have picked Zion. He still had the, the brand. That, yeah. The, the brand. It, it's, I mean, he... I ain't gonna say Zion had no brand, but he did have LeBron expectations. You know what I'm saying? Not it was, but if you wanna put that under brand, cool. I'm just thinking from Mikey to him. I don't think nigga got LeBron expectations with Mikey. You just see the, Man, the see, attention. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but Zion, bro. Zion Silver. He's still Some a that, difference uh, maker. Fuck me up on that interview. Speaking of that interview with Mike and them and shit, right? So, LaShawn McCartney, them, these all big niggas have recruited. So, they all know the big athletes. And shit, the McCartney was like, man, I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. That was I am athlete, dude. I'm saying, Pete. Yeah. I, I, he was like, man, I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. He telling Mike it. He was like, bro, like, you different, bro. Like, you the first. You the man of your generation. Like, dog, I ain't seen nobody with a bigger buzz. With a buzz big as you, it got to be LeBron James or O.J. Mayo. But when he said O.J. Mayo, I got to remind niggas, like, boy, O.J. Mayo was that nigga, boy. Yeah, O.J. Mayo. For LaShawn McCarty to say, yeah, man, I don't remember nobody being big as you except for LeBron and O.J. I'm thinking yeah. he about to say and LeBron see, and KG like, or some shit. That nigga said LeBron right and O.J. So Mayo yeah, coming out of high too. school. Yeah, I remember that, too. boy. When we yeah. was in high school... O.J. Mayo was the number one player in the country, but I think he like two years younger than us. And it was right behind LeBron. You know what I'm saying? LeBron had all all his expectations. Hey, brother, so they was quickly looking for some shit that was close to that. And O.J. was doing his thing in O.J. California. Mayo coming out high school, we thought this nigga was the next, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The next I thing. I see, yeah. He went, they changed it, so he had to go to college. He went to USC one right. year. You know what I'm saying? So his value came down immediately because he didn't, like, do no LeBron shit at, at, at USC. USC yeah. He just was good, you know? He, he was crazy. He probably could have went to the league and put them same numbers up, and it would have it would have been, it it been, been crazy. You know what I'm saying? And he did all right in the league. Yeah, he did all right. But he, he ain't good. paying out to the hype. That nigga was cold coming out of high school, yeah. brother. Yeah, but he definitely had a cool little career for sure. 
You hear me? Yeah, but uh, we got to get into this NBA, though. You know, we on it. We on it. We back. Uh, we had, uh, you say, bro? We getting back. Nah. NBA going to be crazy. We crazy, talked crazy, about crazy. the parody in the NFL. But the NBA stepped it up this year. Now the West and the East is deep. Like, really, you know, they're going to have some good teams this year that's not going to make the playoffs. You know, like, I hate to say it, right? Oh, yeah. What's oh, yeah. crazy? I don't want to try to, I don't want to sound crazy, right? They got a team that went to the Western Conference Finals last year. Might not make the playoffs. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if John them don't make the playoffs this year. Yeah, I know they looked at good as a motherfucker. With all that shit coming back in the West, with Murray and them coming back, with the Pelicans going to be good. They, they, but the Memphis ain't beating no Pelicans at full strength in the series. Lakers should be good. Lakers going to be good. You got Kawhi, Kawhi and them coming Clippers back. Clippers should be good. What Memphis going to the playoffs at? Memphis yeah. going to be a playing team this year. I'm calling that right now. The Memphis Grizzlies going to be a playing team. I feel you, though. I mean. They got too much you know, over there right yeah, now, dog. That's straight basketball talk. Like, Cause, that's just cause, how that cause, shit be. Because you got a team like Houston going to be fighting to get in the playoffs this year. The Rockets. Yeah, I'm telling they you right now. They're like young. Possible superstars. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, I, I yeah. feel like Houston could be this year's Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. What's crazy, they got a job like Jalen Green, a job like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Which that's hard to see because he's different. But Jalen Green is different too. He he he, he Man, damn near similar to, to Ja. Huh? Hey. And then look. Kevin Porter. My them, dog, man. my dog coming back. Murray. Denver. They, they said Murray could have played last year, but now he one thousand percent. Not 100, he fully healthy. Yeah, that West crazy, man. That West going to be crazy. West going to be crazy. Another team. Phoenix could be another team struggling to get in the playoffs over the nut. Think it's a game. The only thing real good about Phoenix, they got that fucking Chris Paul shit. And they well coached. So they know how to, he know how to win games in the regular season. You know what I'm saying? So he know how to, he know how to win game night in, night out, take care of his body. And coach these young boys. That's why it's Chris, you know, got a Chris Paul team. That's LeBron S shit. You know, he don't miss the playoffs and shit. Chris Paul, yeah, he don't do that. Like, like when you talking, about, it's like he LeBron is. He done, he ain't getting to the chip. Oh, we tripping. Soda. Yesterday, soda. look, listen. Yesterday we pulled up the NBA top twenty-five. You know, ESPN released that every year. They got three of their starters. They're the only team on that bitch with three starters in the top 25. Minnesota, Anthony Towns, Edwards, and Gobert. God, they They're the Gobert only right team quick. in the league that could say they got three top 25 players in their starting five. They was, everybody else had two. They got three. And the Edwards, Rudy Gobert, and Towns. Crazy. They're going to be hard to beat now. And the town don't got to do the big man shit. Rudy go bad. And the town down low. And, and, and how I feel about Andy Edwards. That ne- Andy Edwards, boy, you're selling high as a motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, brother. Yeah. Yeah. If nigga be talking about if Giannis develop a jump shot, ain't nothing in the league going to be able to fuck with this dude if he start wetting that bitch. If, 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 if he get consistent... He get a fucking, you know, he get a consistent jumper. And you know who else we forgot about, too, any of your name? Cold. You got Luca over there, too, but he did just go to Western Conference. Right. It's the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Luca with the West. It, it looked like he don't need nothing one That's nigga. That's what I'm telling you. He beating you bitches with, I got with Mem- undrafted dudes I got shit. I got Memphis falling off this year. That West going to be too good. We going to see a Bane them really good now. We gonna see a fucking dude that really good. Luca look like he got that LeBron esque sh- shit too. Him and Chris Paul and them niggas who just hard to beat. Like, and dog, hard to beat you night another night thing out. that's scary. I I've been seeing dude practicing this shit, brother. 
Boy, they're not talking about it, but within a month into the season, you're going to talk about it. Man, this nigga Wiseman, he could wind up being the best big man in the league. Now, how y'all get at the step Doing the stick. Dog, this nigga's cold. I, listen, brother, I play. ain't... Who could play? Number one pick, huh? Yeah. Hey, Say, bro. How you give Golden State the number one pick in between, just right in the middle of the dynasty? Because how the fuck? That's for Nessie at brother. the finest. Like, these dudes when got Listen, the number brother. one pick, bro. This dude is... This dude is... Dwight Howard... And... KG. He 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 the White Howard, but that could play like KG. Oh, this nigga, this nigga get that bitch, this nigga shoot three, this nigga wet, this nigga could put it on the floor. He could get the rebound. And go with it. And yeah, whatever you need him to do, like, boy. That West loaded, huh? I seen him, he scared. He got the potential to be. He can, I don't want to say it wrong, see, but I feel like potentially look like he can do whatever MB can do. And that's saying something, brother. I'm not comparing the two or nothing. Just at, from a basketball player perspective, he looked like he got the whole tree just like MB. I got to see more of him. I know he can play. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It looked like it. Now, yeah. we got to yeah. see this shit playing out. But he looked like he got the whole package, dog. Yeah, and, he, and he big. He, yeah. He like like him, too or Like him big. Yeah. He, got, he got the whole package, see, dog. I may be, he might be seven feet or something, but he like a real seven footer or something. Like Man, that nigga got the whole package, brother. He hey. got the whole package, dog. And you put that with the same fucking dynasty. Them dudes ain't gonna never retire, man. Them dudes gonna be hard to they beat. They got hard ass road. As long as Clay does, Clay straight, they straight. But I, I, I still got two teams over there. No, I got three teams, dog. I got three teams over there that I think got everything they need to beat the so bitches. So Wiseman is Anthony Davis when Anthony Davis can play. Yeah. Because yeah. you mentioned the White Howard, you know that mean defense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> So AD can really lock up, protect the post, and he had a spot where it's kind of hard to check him now too. Like you know what I'm saying? You can't, you want post up with him? It don't matter. He can fade away, do all, he can make all his mid range, get to the goal. So the the the, the question there, who gonna who, who who the teams over there that going that's gonna challenge Golden State? I yeah yeah. I got only three over there, I think, that could legitimately beat them in the seventh game series. The Clippers with the defense they got. Yes, yeah, superstars. Yeah, superstar. Defense. All of them play D. John Wall, uh, Kawhi, and Paul oh, George. George. All three of them is top of the line. That's defense. tough to deal with. Not you know yet. Denver with Murray back. With Jokic. Yeah. With Michael Porter. Uh, back. Yeah. With their four squad back, them. And the Lakers. Yeah, any, the Lakers. Any, any one of them three, I bet my money with them to beat Golden State. Any one of them three. I ain't going to go that far. I bet but my money with they them. they could compete and they could beat them, for sure. They got teams that, you know, you got to prove it on the court. Yeah. No, I ain't going to lie. The best roster in the West is Denver. It might be Denver, bro. The best roster in the whole league. Let me say that. Denver got the best roster in the league when 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 healthy. Denver got the best. They bench and everything cool. That dude who started point guard in Murray spot last year, LeBron skinny little nigga. He, he cold. He can play a start thing about it. I mean, it still may be Golden State, but they yeah. Not roster. I mean, they the Wiseman back. Like you just talked about him. They got Steph Clay. But Denver really go eight ten. They deep. got your boy, the new one. Yeah. What's his name? I can't think of his name right Poo. now, man. Poo with Draymond. But these people That's got Will Barton and all them two coming yeah. off oh, their bench. We're talking about number one here. <laughs> Just saying, you know. They were definitely in that conversation. I 
I think Golden State can compete. And the Bucks with roster, the Bucks roster when they held it, Bucks got a bench. Yeah, the Bucks, Bucks got a bench. Bucks, nice. Bucks got a bench. I feel like the superstars all around. And they Golden ain't State. doing nothing. We just talking about our own paper. Boy, Cleveland on paper. Oh, Cleveland like that man. Boy, that Cleveland East. like we that on the East. Cleveland, boy. Yeah, we showed yeah, it. Yeah. Now we, now we on the East. All right. Who your favorite, see? Damn. I ain't even think that for a basketball. The media day is but going on. We got to make day. our picks. Season starting in two weeks. Man, I mean, if I had it, it's, it's KD, bro. And Kyrie. I feel like with Ben back, with Ben. The Nets, go, man. They, they got a LeBron-type nigga over there, KD. Bro. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to go ahead on it. You know, I name everything LeBron, like go shit, you know. Look. I'm about to fuck you up. My favorite, because the favorite mean, you know, who should win the East. It's the favorite. My favorite is Brooklyn. Now, who I think going to win the East at the end in the playoffs It, bro, fuck y'all head up. They say hard lost fifty pounds, huh? I can't knock Philly, boy. Philly, Philly got a team coming. They, this they got him be. They got the possibly the best player in the league. Shooting the podcast. So. You know, he LeBron is yeah. he LeBron ish and B. <laughs> Hit you right back. <laughs> Hit niggas with that LeBron ish, man. You heard me? It's goat shit. And B, they got a goatee over there, and B. You can win a chip. Uh, and B gotta win, he gonna win him a chip. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this could be the year Philly go to the chip. And B gonna win him a chip, dog. Yeah, and B gonna win him a chip. You know, for sure, like. He's going to win him a chip. Tobias Harris, Harden. It's going to be hard for sure these next four years. With teams like Golden State still around with just a, a, a big old Steph Curry. With a good team. Kevin Durant. They prime, prime, prime. This the year for the Nets. This ain't no, this is it. You think Katie asked for a trade, crazy, a trade already? And I know niggas ain't looking at him at his championship contender. Dog, it's going to be hard to beat Cleveland over there. Cleveland going to upset somebody. Cleveland they could get to the chip. Boy, yeah, boy. People, you know, they could, I don't know if they could win it, but they could be a team who could get to the chip. chip. You know, I fuck with Donovan Mitchell. And I, I think, think Donovan is a for sure superstar Stuff. on the court. Like, I feel like he could lead a team, do some some lebron and shit. Some D-Wade shit. Some D-Wade shit, for sure. Sure, and he got a good team around. I mean, Garland, nice play. All-star player. And Kevin Love Moment. still nice. Kevin Love over there. <laughs> Jared Allen, he got good-ass role players. And, you know... If Evan Mobley and shit could really get that Chris Bosh out and really get the 20 points a game or something, right. 18 a game. How you feel about the Bulls? Can they turn around because the Bulls wasn't healthy? We don't know what the Bulls would have did in the playoffs with their whole team. Like the Bulls got a 3-2. They got Lonzo. They got DeRozan. They got Zach Levine. They got a good big man. I mean, nigga got to respect the Bulls. You got to respect the Bulls, yeah, fuck man. With the boy, fuck with the you know, if we going to say golf, Cleveland man. got a and shot, got how we going to disrespect Zonem like that if Cleveland got a shot? You know what I'm saying? If Cleveland got a shot. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking with Chicago. The, the, they Chicago, paper, they good. Yeah. You know, niggas got to stay healthy. And they got a big boy over there, Vlut, whatever his name is, Vujicic or whatever. Yeah, Vujicic. Vujic, yeah. One of them, the big dude, be rebounding and handling business down there. Chicago can play. They going to be around that talk. 
You know what I'm saying? The East, who else, man? Atlanta gonna have something to see. And long as Jimmy got bread in his body, you yeah, already know. Atlanta gonna have something to see with Trey Young, them, Deontay. Oh, he, they got Murray um, now. Murray. And they saying the squad healthier this year. And they got a Trey mm-hmm. Young. Yeah, Trey Young hard to beat, man. He, he got a little stuff in him, see. you know? I'm going to keep it real, dog. We ain't never see a Trey Young. Like, he unique, bro. He unique as a motherfucker. Yeah, we ain't never seen the, oh, uh, nobody like him. Like, uh, they got they got, they got, got some people, a lot of players be similar to other players. But him, I, mean, I don't recall. franchise players you know? Yeah, I don't recall really seeing. For real, though. 60 you know, franchise I players. I have seen, you know. Yeah, I know. It's only going to be a few you about to see. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about 30 no, teams one. for 30 I don't years. I think of one. Chris Paul. Yeah, but Chris Paul more. Chris Paul franchise player. Yeah, no, no, no. I even, I feel you for even thinking about it, but AI, cause AI for sure. Yeah, I'm getting to the chip with nobody. And I'm that nigga. I'm a historically that nigga. Chris Shit. Paul, though, he could be like that, though. It's Shit, not as, it's boy. not as. Shit, bro. He ain't his game changed as AI, but Chris Paul for sure. Kyrie had ended up with like. Third, Steve Nash. 38. Steve Nash was six feet, though. Steve Nash like 6'2 or yeah, something. Yeah, Steve Nash like 6'1 or something. Man, bro, I watched Trey Young go toe-to-toe with Kyrie, bro. Like toe-to-toe with him, dog. He ain't going. It don't matter who in front of that dude. It don't matter who in front of him. Nah, I can see. He unstoppable, brother. Basically, yeah, hey, you treat him like you treat stuff. And it's crazy because he going to dish this bitch, Ron. Play if you want to leave niggas open and shit. He still a game. Come on, man. You ain't never that, heard of that. The nigga average like third and nine. He had the most points and assists shit. in college, man, in one year. How the, just think about it. How the fuck you can do that? How, how you even pull that off? Oh, right. I mean, the ball in your hand every play, that no doubt good. about it. And he been doing that shit his whole life down there. So he going to be, Atlanta going to have something to see. You put a team around that boy, Trey Young. Trey Young. Crazy. Trey Young, Cole. Who, who who we didn't get to in the East? Man, the Knicks, bro. What they doing, bro? You got the hat on, bro. What they doing? Bro? Just come from New York, bro. <laughs> what they doing? What they got? Uh, shout out to uh, Mitchell. New Orleans, you heard me. Got the $60 million contract. When everybody doubted him, shout out to him. Fuck with Mitchell, man. Oh, without man, Mitchell. Blocking shots, good team. Yeah. Mitchell, right, he, he going to be a solid piece on a, on a championship Oh, when it's all said and done, he going to be the player that's 15 years in the league. Yeah. He's Hell seven yeah. feet tall and he active. Yeah. And he make his free throws. I've been saying that's high school. I knew that nigga was gone and going to be good. All oh, next. That nigga free throws. He's like an 80% free throw shooter. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, he out of here. <laughs> he can move and shit. I'm chatting like they got a seven feet boy in shell metal, whatever. Man, you know me and D, we going to fuck with going to see I'm, the I, I, I ain't going to lie. I'm telling C. I'm like, C, man, because that before I'm they like, started working with him, I'm like, C. I don't think he. But yeah, and I'm like, see, I see like, him. no, I'm like, man. What? This boy can play. And he ain't just no seven feet tall, just, you know, looking stupid out yeah, there. Yeah, she said it first. That dude can play, she like, man. I ain't gonna lie, I was one of the ones that doubted at home. Man. See, she, bro, and let me know our fucking, this, this region, we gotta get our media and all that shit up, bro. That dude would have been somewhere else. He was top 10 in the country, she, man. Yeah, Mitchell man. Mitchell Robinson, top 10 in the country. country. For sure. He's seven feet tall oh. and he can shoot free throws. And he run and he can run. He athletic. For real. He can dribble. I'm looking at this dude, he dribbling the ball like fucking around. Man, that's NBA type shit. <laughs> they kept him in the closet. Like, how the fuck oh, nobody no, knew no, about this no, man. Nobody like knew that. about this man. Yeah. So they gotta sell. I like I saw his, I think I saw him it's eleventh grade year or something. Late. And picture they He's said that man was tall. that Andrew Walker and them with Lamar. He was supposed to be on their team, but like he he wasn't good enough for some shit, and I they let him. More, more, they more let, about they his let story. him go. That he was he was over that land. Yeah, they let him go. Man, no, indeed, man. man yeah, no, no, I'm telling you, brother. They let him go. Now brother. look at the difference with that. Say they say he on that team, bro. Yeah, he ranked in the country. I,